Hello, everyone. My name is Pan Jiatru. I will introduce my work as in topics of sequential composite hypothesis testing on the probabilistic constraints. It's a joint work with Yonomi and Vincent Tam, all of us from National University of Singapore. There are main three contributions in our paper. First, we obtain the first order and the second order of synthetics for sequential composite hypothesis testing on the probabilistic constraints. Second, we prove the strong conference result using the information theoretical methods. Third, we obtain a new central limit type result for a maximum of an uncountable set of random variables under suitable conditions. Let's begin with the introduction to the sequential composite hypothesis testing. We collect ID observations Xi sequentially, and on the H0, the probability density of X is G0, and on the H1, the probability density of X is H gamma, where gamma belongs to a known parameter set capital gamma. Tau is the stopping time, and delta is the decision rule then one can naturally define the type one error probability and the maximum type, type two error probability. Usually we consider the expectation constraints. Ward and Wolfer ways obtain the classical result on the set of error exponent pairs on the expectation constraints. Here we consider the probability constraints. It says that the probability that the stopping time is greater than m is less than epsilon on the both hypothesis. It's a more stringent condition than expectation constraints. Before introducing the first order asymptotics, we first introduce a test GSPRT. We define a generalized sequential probability ratio Sn as the maximum of sum of log likelihood ratio over the parameter set gamma. And the way define is the define its stopping time tau and the, its decision rule delta. The figure shows the process of GSPRT. Then we have our first order result, which is shown in the theorem one. It states that on the minor conditions for vector epsilon between zero and one, the set of is all epsilon achievable pair of error exponent is composed by all e zero and e one that less than or equal to the minimum KL divergence. And the corner point is achieved by the GSBRT. We note that theorem one shows the region is a rectangle and it also shows a strong confidence result because the region does not depend on the epsilon. For the second order result, we add an additional assumption. We assume the alpha beta of the observations as the a finite set. And we define the gamma prime as the parameter that minimizes the KL divergence between P0 and P gamma. And we have a similar definition for gamma star. This figure shows the projection of KL divergence on parameter set gamma at point gamma star and gamma prime. To obtain second order result, we need a central limit type result for the sequence of Sn over square root n. Define the empirical distribution of Xn as Qi for i from 1 to d. Then we express Sn by Qi. Then we study the following optimization problem. After solving the optimization problem, we obtain our main technical contribution in our paper, the central limit type result on the sequence of Sn over square root n. We denote the second order error exponent G0 and G1 as the second order term to approximate log error probability. And we obtain our second order result in theorem 2. It says that uh, on the mind conditions, the, the set of all epsilon achievable second order error exponent pairs is composed by all G0 and G1 that is less than or equal to the inverse of cumulative normal distributions times the square root of minimal 
relative entropy variance. Besides, the boundary of this set is also achieved by the GSPRT. Thank you for your listening.